In nearly two years since work began to make the estate of Yuhua in Jurong a greener and more sustainable place to live in. Some of the changes are complete. And in our Spotlight segment this week, Alice Chia finds out how residents are benefiting and how the initiatives might be replicated in other old estates. is about 30 years old and it's the first mature estate to undergo the HDB's ambitious green print scheme which aims to create greener and more sustainable homes. Yuhua is being spruced up with state-of-the-art green features at a cost of about 18 million dollars. Covering 38 blocks from 209 to 240 in Jurong East Street 21, the HDB green print project will impact about 3,200 flats. One key strategy, tapping the sun's energy. The installation of solar panels on the rooftops of 29 blocks is underway. The electricity generated will be used to power facilities in common areas. When completed, the panels will have a total capacity of 1.13 megawatt peak. This could potentially generate enough electricity to power 280 four-room flats. And when the sun sets, LED street lighting will reduce energy consumption by an estimated 50%. Together with other efforts, such as recycling rainwater to wash corridors, the greening of Yuhua is expected to translate into $144,000 in annual cost savings. The town council will be able to better manage uh, its uh, expenses, its costs, because uh, we all know that electricity tariffs are on the increase. Other expenses are paid for even cleaning, uh, landscaping, maintaining of the lifts, and uh, even the painting works. All these are on the increase. New bicycle racks have been built to promote greener modes of travel. These new racks are secure, user-friendly and optimised space. One lot can hold two bicycles. It gives me an opportunity to lock my bicycle at the ground floor and uh, I don't have to shift them up and down. And actually you'll be quite surprised that the take-up rate is quite high. When you have a good storage area, uh, a good cycling path that leads you to the MRT station and also the parks around here, we hope that mobility uh, will be a lot greener. People do not need to find that they need to drive around, but they can actually walk or cycle. And this will make the whole place a lot more greener and environmentally friendly. There will be more greenery throughout the estate. Block 223, for example, has a vertical garden. When the plants are fully grown, they are expected to lower the temperature of the facade by up to 5 degrees Celsius and reduce glare for residents in neighbouring buildings. But incorporating the new features has brought some temporary inconveniences to residents. A case in point, the building of this waste disposal system which allows garbage to be automatically sucked through underground pipes into a centralised collection area. For about a week since construction started, residents have had to throw their rubbish in temporary dustbins outside their flats. They're digging up all the pathways and things like that, so it, it, it causes a, a little bit of inconvenience because um, we will have to, they are blocking off certain uh, walkways and of course they also require us to, for a short period of time, require us to, um, that means we are not able to use our uh, rubbish chute. There are some inconvenience, um, but I was hoping that I mean these are some short-term inconvenience. Uh, in the long run, hopefully, we will get to enjoy all the new, the benefits of the new facilities. To garner support for the HDB green print, residents were engaged through exhibitions and consultations. We first need to uh, share with the residents what this is all about, and after the sharing, uh, get their buy-ins so that. Um, we uh, also work with the advisors, the grassroots, and some of the um, residents on where is the best location to locate this centralized shoot. And um, after that, we would also uh, need to educate them how to use um, this system to their advantage. 
Under the HDB green print, the community has an important role to play. Thus, more activities are being organized for them. For example, many residents have been lending a hand at this community garden. They are also learning about farming to grow their own vegetables. Uh the transformation of Yuhua side, Jurong Town Council has been organizing activities to promote a green lifestyle. In 2007, it started a program where residents get cash for recycling. Cash for trash is one of the very early initiatives that the Town Council embraced. Uh, we started some seven years ago on a very modest scale, modest at uh, one of the uh, estates in uh, Jurong Town. But uh, the thing became uh, very popular and we decided to extend it to several other, uh, other locations. HDB is monitoring the reception to the new features. What uh, we want to do also is to test out, the, check out the feasibility, the viability and uh, see if there are any maintenance issues um, that comes from some of the things we are introducing. Most important of course is that we want to uh, ensure that uh, residents uh, like it and accept it. And if all these are uh, found to be positive, we will see how is the best way to replicate them to other towns. Initiatives under the HDB green print are likely to be completed next year allowing residents to reap the benefits of a cleaner, greener and better living environment.